What's up, Ohana? Today we're gonna to be talking all about Royal Caribbean's ultimate dining package. What is it? Is it worth it? And let me tell you guys a little spoiler alert, it's worth it. So stay tuned to find out why. Ohana. So thanks for joining us today, guys. And as you heard from the intro, Royal Caribbean's Ultimate Dining Package is absolutely worth getting. So here's a little bit about it and why you should look into it more if you haven't already. So the Ultimate Dining Package is Royal Caribbean's upgraded specialty dining package. And with this package, you're going to get to eat all of your meals at specialty restaurants instead of all the included dining options like Sorrento's, the Windjammer, the main dining room, or even Mini Bites and El Loco Fresh. So what are the specialty restaurants like on Royal Caribbean ships? Well, you got lots of different choices to talk about here. We've got Chops, which is Royal Caribbean's premier steakhouse. You've got Sabor, which is the mouth-watering Mexican cuisine that everybody just absolutely loves. We've also got hibachi and sushi with Azumis on the ship. So if you guys are interested in some Japanese cuisine, definitely check them out as well. And of course, you've got our Italian choice, which is gonna be Jamie's or Giovanni's, depending on which ship you're on. If you're on one of the newer ships, you're gonna get Jamie's. If you happen to be on one of Royal Caribbean's older ships, you're gonna be looking at Giovanni's. But they're both amazing, so don't stress. There's also 150 Central Park, which is a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. If you guys haven't been there, it's definitely gonna be one of the most exquisite, kind of the highest luxurious options that you'll find on the ship. And I actually was told on my last ship that I had to go and change and put on pants. So if you guys don't have pants with you, you will not most likely be eating at 150 Central Park. Wonderland, what a unique experience, guys. It's definitely not something I would go out of my way to book the ultimate dining package for, but once you have the ultimate dining package, it's almost just like the icing on top of the cake in order to, to experience Wonderland because it really is truly a unique experience. And the last two dining options you're going to want to take advantage of if you happen to have the ultimate dining package is Playmakers, which is going to be your sports bar on a lot of the newer updated ships, which is so much fun. I would definitely check it out if you guys are on a ship that has Playmakers. Get the jalapeno poppers, try the wings. They're absolutely amazing. And you've also got the Bamboo Room, which is a Polynesian themed lounge offering favorites like pork Kahlua sliders and things like that, which are absolutely to die for. However, you should know that at Playmakers and Bamboo Room, they're not going to be completely included as a meal. You're actually going to get an a la carte uh, credit to use towards food items there. So you won't necessarily be able to get everything you want, but it's usually $25 or $35 to kind of pick and choose what you as a person would individually enjoy. All right, so now you guys know the basics about the Ultimate Dining Plan. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Is it available for your sailing? So here's the truth guys, it's not available on many three or four night sailings. And if it is on sale at all, I would definitely consider getting it. I've noticed that on the shorter three and four night sailings, you're not necessarily going to find it. However, if you were on a sailing that's offering it, I would definitely recommend you guys taking advantage of the ultimate dining package. If you were going to spend at least just one night at any of the specialty restaurants. Now here's why, because usually Royal Caribbean will charge you about $45 to $60 before gratuity just for one restaurant. So if you look at it, usually you end up paying somewhere between $40 to $60 a day. So that's gonna be where the big advantage is, guys. If you're gonna eat both lunch and dinner, if you're just eating dinner and you're only planning on having main dining room, the ultimate dining package is probably not for you. However, if you're interested in any of those mouth-watering restaurants that I was talking about earlier, I would definitely suggest looking into the Ultimate Dining Package, especially if you can get it on sale, because like I said, you're gonna be spending somewhere between $45 and $65 just for one restaurant for one night. So if you can kind of get a good deal on spending maybe $250 for a seven-night cruise, it's gonna make it really worth it if you can try and stack lunches on top of all those specialty dinners as well. 
Also, they don't go around advertising this, but if you're like me and you really, really, really want to get your money's worth and you happen to be hungry as a hippo, you are absolutely welcome to go to multiple restaurants in a night. However, they have to have availability, which sometimes can get difficult. So if you want to make sure that you get your utmost choice and preference each night, definitely book the one you're desiring the most and maybe try and do it really early or really late in the night. That way you can try and sneak in another dinner earlier or later, depending on how hungry you are. So if you just finished your dinner at Chops and you want to head over to Sabor for some churros and ice cream, you are absolutely welcome to do that. But like I said, they have to have availability at both the restaurants in order to accommodate you. So is it worth it? Yes, at least for now. And the reason I say that is because Royal Caribbean has been making some cutbacks along with a lot of the other cruise lines. And one of the places they're noticing these cuts is in the dining. So you might have heard that on main dining room in Royal Caribbean, they're no longer letting you order multiple lobster dinners on lobster night. I've heard from several people on the ships that now they are charging you for the second one. They'll still let you get one, but the second one's going to be an upcharge. I heard it's something like $16, $17. So if you love lobster, uh, you might want to make sure you get on these ships soon because they might start charging. I've heard that Carnival is also charging for a second plate. So if you want multiple entrees, you're going to have to actually pay an upcharge for that. I have no idea how much it is, but just wanted to let you guys know that if you want to take advantage of the ultimate dining package and all it includes, I would definitely suggest trying it sooner rather than later. But I digress. The food at almost all of these restaurants is phenomenal. I wouldn't quite put Wonderland's food at the same level as Chops or 150 Central Park because I think Wonderland is more about the experience and I kind of would say the same about Sabor. Like I don't think the Mexican food at Sabor is exactly amazing, but you're paying for the experience and you're also paying for the ability to have good quality Mexican food on a ship. You're not gonna really find those Mexican dishes in the main dining room or in Sorrento's of course. The only place you might get lucky is El Loco Fresh and you're pretty much stuck with tacos and light foods there. If you've never had a chance to try a filet from Chops Grill, again, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend the Ultimate Dining Package instead of just paying the $70 for the one meal at Chops per person because you're gonna end up getting way more out of it when you add up all those sea days, all those dinners, and if you happen to go back to any, any double duties on any nights, then you're definitely in luck in that sense as well. One more really awesome thing about the Ultimate Dining Package is that if you are a wine drinker, you will actually get 40% off all of your bottles of wine while you're in the specialty restaurants. And you have to be careful because one time I went to the main dining room with my mom and we ordered a bottle of wine and we thought that because we had the Ultimate Dining Package we would get 40% off. And we did, but we ended up having to, to talk to someone, find a manager and all that good stuff because they don't have the ability in the main dining room to give you that 40% off. So what I would suggest is if you've got the ultimate dining package, there's really no point in going to the main dining room, but definitely take advantage of that 40% off the bottles of wine because if you don't have the deluxe beverage package, that's one way to save a ton, a ton, a ton of money. Alcohol costs a lot, especially on cruises. But that's basically it guys. I'll include some footage from the different restaurants here and my experiences at them. Thank you for joining us. Much love and mahalo nui. Already in awe, guys. So many options here at Chops. All right, about that time to order. My mom's gonna do the surf and turf and pay the upcharge for the lobster. And I myself am gonna do the filet. And for the apps, we're both gonna do the jumbo lump crab cake. And of course, you gotta get the wild mushroom soup, right? We'll probably get the lobster bisque next time. The mushroom soup, guys, amazing.
there's Wonderland. Up here we've got the waiting area and the bar. Crispy crab cone filled with wasabi on the bottom, crab in the middle, and avocado on top. Cheers. The Mad Hatter shrimp, which is a shrimp as well as a Japanese mayonnaise on bottom. You just gotta dunk it down into the mayonnaise and enjoy, as well as a liquid lobster. to Caprese. I don't think I'll have much of it, guys. That was intense. First, we have the mushroom. The mushroom is made with the meringue. On the bottom, it's a red velvet crumble comes with pistachio. On the side, with the mango yuzu sorbet. Oh my god! <laughs> we have the yeah, This is delicious. Mushroom is not so delicious. All right, just got our meals here at Jamie's. I got the chicken. My mom got the lamb chops. And we got the different types of fries, truffle and posh fries. So I ordered myself a jalapeno cucumber margarita with a drink I get from the Diamond Club. And then for my small plate, I might have to get the ceviche. That's always a good choice. And then I'm going to probably go for the chicken and roasted corn empanada. So I ended up getting the chicken stuffed jalapenos. And my mom got the ceviche. All right, so we both agree the ceviche was good, but it was a little chewy, right, Mom? Yeah. Yeah, but my the uh, guac and the salsa are great. Top notch, and the chicken stuffed jalapenos were great as well. All right, I'm not a member of the Clean Plate Club, but my mom's helping me out here. Hey, what's going on? So they make you actually change your pants for Central Park. I didn't know that, so uh, white shorts. So I don't know what you guys would get, but last time I was here, the sh waiter recommended the scallops. And the, where is it? Tenderloin for two, but he let me get it for one. And then you gotta get the fried cheesecake here, guys. The fried cheesecake is amazing. Pumpkin bisque. Veal medallions, cauliflower steak, and some pan seared halibut will round out this meal quite nicely. So my mom's review is 150 Central Park is incredible. And I agree, the pan seared halibut is delicious. I have ever had. So I think it's a testament to how good the food is considering we had all those plates and we almost finished our entrees too. We're doing a good job, guys. Guys, I completely forgot to film the cheesecake, but it was delicious, as you can tell.
So the way it works, guys, is you for $10 upcharge, you can pick basically any of the hibachi you like. You can mix and match. You could do the premier combos, which include beef tenderloin, tiger shrimp, chicken breast, New York steak, sea scallops, lobster, and you could basically pick whichever combination you want. Enjoy. Almost time for the show to start. All the way from Philippines, and I'm going to try to do the See, that's funny. Okay, first time, and chicken. Chicken and shrimp. Cheeseburger and hot dog. That's not what I got. Steak and chicken. I might have to do that this time because the last time I tried the chicken, which was amazing, barbecue chicken bacon. 